Hey folks, what's up? I'm playing Jorge. His rating is much higher than usual. Um, he's played this French against me before. Let me turn the sound down a little bit. And, I don't know, I crushed him last time, actually. But he'll play better this time. He's a good, solid, tough player. I forget how I beat him. He did something that wasn't good. <laughs> um, I can't, can't quite remember. He went queen d6, if I'm not mistaken. I think I played well. I remember that much. Okay. Uh, and now usually my idea is queen e2 and knight e4. Let's just do it. Alright, I'm just going to go there. Uh, this is not how the last game went, though. I, he did something a little different. But usually I like this type of position. Well, this is interesting. I can go bishop g5. I'm going to do it, because f6, I take on e6, and knight f6 is weak. If he moves his rook, then he's wasting time, and I can go bishop to d3, or rook to d1. I have so many possibilities coming up. I actually don't want to go rook d1. Oh, he just does this. I mean, I mean of course I'm just better now, but the question is how much. Uh, queen h4 is interesting. Probably I should just take it, though, and weaken his pawns. I think, I think queen h4 still, or bishop d3, he has to go f5, and then he makes a lot of weaknesses. It's almost lost. <laughs> uh, bishop d, or right, let's see, bishop d3, f5, queen h4, if queen e7, knight g5, he has to go f6, that's so ugly, I'm just going to do this. Yeah, I mean, he seems to have trouble in this opening against me, because last game he got a bad, his position is bad, I'm not saying he's going to lose, but... It's clearly a bad position. I was thinking, okay, knight g5, he has to go f6. I was just thinking it would be good for me, but we'll see. Queen, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do it. Because softens up his, uh, his king a little bit. I can't even go knight h3 to go f4. But then if he goes e5, the knight's a little funky. Tough to say. I mean, maybe I misplayed a little bit. Let's see, knight h3, e4, e5, rook e1. I'm just going to do this. <sighs> but my knight, okay. My knight's bad wherever it goes. I'm just going to go here. Whatever, man. Um, if queen g7, rook e5, actually, and otherwise knight f4. Okay, let I me mean, miss this, I think. Oh, crap, does he have, uh, let's see. Now, rook d3, rook c5. Alright, I'm just going to do it. Trust my instincts. Because I'm attacking his bishop, which is useful. <coughs> Zippy, don't you be a troublemaker now. Usually he's like 100 points higher rated than me. Um, lower rated, sorry. Uh, so like he's, he's on a hot streak of some sort right now. Usually he's in like the 2250 to 2330 range. I play this guy a lot. But I mean his position looks pretty bad. I'm attacking his bishop. If bishop to d4, I don't care about my b-pawn. It's a useless trifle. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I can actually go bishop c4 check. And if king h8, queen takes d4. He's winning. So he has to be a little careful. Well, he would have to go king f8, but that's really ugly. Um, I kind of want to go rook d5. Bishop h2 doesn't quite work. I think I'm going to play it safe instead, though. My cat is causing all kinds of problems right now. Shoot, he already moved. All kinds of problems everywhere. Knight f4 probably. It's threatening some horrible things like knight to knight to h5 and knight takes f6. He he's he's so screwed here. Yeah, something about his opening. I mean, he's not developing his pieces correctly in this opening. I 
Yeah, I'm gonna win a second pawn, or he's gonna. Okay. Oh well. Let's not get checkmated, actually. <laughs> um, rook e3 is interesting. But then he takes on f4 and checkmates me. So I should avoid that. That was just stupid, actually. I should just go, uh... This is all really dumb, what I did. Probably f3. But... <sighs> what should I do? Why well, I really screwed this up. I am an idiot. Bishop f5, bishop f4. So stupid. <laughs> uh, rookie 3, bishop f4, f3. Okay, f3 or g3. Why not g3, I guess? I mean, this diagonal is annoying, but I, I don't see how I can use it right now. I, it's funny, like, I, I just don't like to play moves like g3 because they make the diagonal so weak. On the other hand, it's definitely the best move, I think. I'm probably f3 is okay also, but too weakening. I should still be winning. I'm attacking at 5, but, you know, the last move was annoying that I allowed that. I'm going to play this. Can't help myself. I mean, I'm threatening 96 type moves also now, so he's really got problems. I'm throwing knight h5 and knight e6, depending on where his bishop goes. Queen g4, I guess, is sort of playable. But barely. I can take on f, f, f6 almost. Probably I get some mating attack to rook e7. I don't know. To queen g4, rook f3, queen f3, queen f6. I feel like that's crushings. Alright, let's do this. I'm going to get the f5 pawn now in most cases. You know what I want to do? I actually want to bring my rook into the game. Forget about pawns. Let's just try to, you know, run them over. This looks pretty good for me. Almost resignable, actually. Because I have a huge attack and all of his pawns are falling apart. Hmm. Uh, for some reason, I don't want to trade queens. I just want to crush him. I'm going to go f4, too. I don't want him to go f4 for some reason. I'm just trying to mate this guy. Queen f7, next move. I think. Ah! Uh, Don't ask, man. Uh, I just want to attack the F pawn somehow. All right. I should make sure not to mess up my clock situation. I'm being a little careless. Because at some point, if you get too low on time, weird things can happen. You don't want to allow weird things to happen in a position that's this dominating. He has to go like rook f8, I think. I didn't see that move. Uh, whatever. Rook d8's coming. I might go bishop c4 first. His bishop on g4 is not, not helping him any, and he's running out of time. This is good. I lost two games in a row. It's nice to... Um, come back like this. I wasn't sure if this is mate, but it looks pretty strong. Queen g8 can't be stopped. Alright. Boom! Alright, we win. Let's take a quick look at that game. So, where did he go wrong? I mean... First of all, well, this move is okay. Uh, queen h5, I think, is even okay nowadays. Queen c6 is actually the main move. 
This one is strange that Queen e2 and Knight e4 is White's best plan, but somehow, I think Rook d8's bad, but somehow it leaves, it leaves his king side very bare, pre prepares Bishop f4, Bishop g5, Bishop d3, Bishop d3, and White just has nice attacking play. Uh, I had this in the tournament game, and I didn't realize that you should just go for a quick Queen e2 and Knight e4 type thing. Um, now I know. And I do really well in Blitz. I, I think, though, he has to do something else. And Rook d is just totally useless move. I don't know. Like, if he does this, it's just like, it's kind of an annoying position. But I know knight d6, the queen d6 is okay. I just, definitely not, it wasn't best for him to do what he did. Like, bishop g5 is a good move. Because he can't go f6. If he moves the rook, he just feels stupid. And after this, you know... I double his pawns, and I'm just better here. I mean, his king's very weak. I just started to probe for weaknesses. Uh, this is, like, a little shaky. But I realize the two good the good things in this type of position are, number one, I'm threatening knight f4 with knight h5 ideas. Because this knight is the key to the position. If I can get in the game, he's in trouble. And number two, if he moves his queen away, rook takes e5. I mean, maybe he can go queen f8, but it's, like, it's an ugly move, man. Oh, queen c4. You know what's funny? I thought I was so smart. Queen c4 just wins the game. Stupid idiot. <laughs> Stupid! Ooh, you know, you, see, you ever hear the saying, when you find a good move, look for a better one. So, I mean, maybe queen of eight is his best try. I don't know, I would probably go, well, he's going to go bishop, if bishop e6, knight f4 again. I would probably do this. If this is like bishop c4 and active rook something. The problem is still this knight. Um, let's turn on Houdini just to see the evaluation. Alright, yeah, I think he's okay. It's because of my knight. He doesn't like my whole, uh, bishop d3 move. It likes check. And then queen h4. That's funny. The thing is, though, it requires more accuracy from him. Um, so even though it thought my position's, uh, not so great. Rook to d4, I didn't think about that. Oh, because the queen g3, uh, rook to g4. Yeah, e5's tempting. Rook to d4 again. Well, maybe his position was alright. <laughs> uh, I like how I missed queen g4. I, I missed queen c4, I thought I was so smart. But I was not so smart. And now I, I missed this move, but I, it took me forever to find g3 because you're, you're opening up this diagonal. It's completely harmless, though. There's no way you can use it. But I kind of had a little panic attack. Like, I was only finding f3. I missed... Because this move just kind of escapes my vision due to the power of this bishop. It's just like a move I don't look at right away. But it's so obvious. Alright, I mean, I'm just winning now. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.